Okay. Welcome to my next broadcast, Ty Cobb in 2018, Episode 1. This is the next series I'm starting. I went, wanted to relive the... Um, Baseball here on ML. Turn this down a little. Day is here as we get the new season underway with a good matchup um, between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Detroit Tigers. 1910, there wasn't really an MVP, it was an award. Let me see if I can. Hello again, everybody. Baseball is back. Welcome to our special opening day broadcast on MLB Network. I'm joined by Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. No, I can't remember what it's called, but um, Ty Cobb won. He was one of two, along with Nap, Nap LaJoy of the Cleveland Naps, that won the award. So we're doing Ty Cobb season. I'm going to see if we can win the MVP with him again. Player lock, like with the Babe Ruth on the Red Sox. Now, before I get started, I'm going to go over this the one time. I know there's some... Controversy involving Ty Cobb as far as historically There's movies out depicting him as a monster as an evil man But there's also documentaries out refuting that for the purposes of this video this series However, we are just playing the MVP 1910 Ty Cobb won an award, which is equivalent to the MVP of today. So I don't care about his personal life. I'm not going to be living his personal life. You make your own decisions on that. This is just seeing if we can't win the MVP once again with Ty Cobb. Alright. No career at bats for him against this particular arm in the past. First offering on its way. Looking at pictures and whatnot. Boy, not even uh, close with that one, and he's behind 0 1. Oh, man. As this game yeah. progresses, I don't think he's going to want to miss in that spot down the middle of the plate much more. Looking at a, um, pictures and right statistics, so I tried to match up what little bit of footage and stuff there is of his batting stance. The wind up and the 0 1. Line down the left field line. That's gonna be a foul. But this will be foul. It's one nothing Pittsburgh here in the bottom of the second. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a liner. And that there we gets go. down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. And a nice job to Might get the been. ball in quickly. He'll be held to a single here with nobody out. And there's probably no happier person in the ballpark. Ty has just collected his first hit in the big league, <coughs> and as is customary, there's the ball being sent into the dugout. Now, someone will tuck it away for him to put in his trophy case. Yeah, good for him, and congratulations. Listen, he's worked his entire life. He uh, wasn't his first hit. He was 23 years old right in 1910. He played in 140 games. He's on top of the world. Standing in, Nicholas Castellanos. Alright, so also, why is he wearing number zero? We've seen other YouTube videos that depict him wearing zero, wearing 20. Here's the three and two. And this is on the ground is short. Could be two. There's Harrison for one. On to first, and they get the double play. Um, he didn't wear a jersey number. Boy, and that's a great so, play there at short. He's supposed what to go is. to the backhand and then pivot on that right leg to throw against the momentum of his body. These guys make... Gonna get a fielding opportunity here in center field. He flew out in his last at bat. Two out, nobody on. <laughs> Pulled toward right center field. Aducci giving chase. He gets there to make the catch and that ends the inning. So well, that worked out good. I'm <coughs> down 2 nothing no now as we go into no the bottom of the third. So here's the cleanup hitter, Ty Cobb. He singled his last time up. Ty Cobb. Bottom of the fourth, down 2 nothing. March 29th. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. No balls and a strike to count. The 
Popped him up. Oh, well. Frazier into shallow left. She makes the play, and there are two gone now. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up of the zone. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that... Josh Harrison stands in. All right, fielding opportunity, to but top of the six, still down two nothing. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. Amarista backs up a bit, and he takes charge for the first out. Here we go. Be the four hole hitter. Hi, Cobb. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Bottom of the sixth. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swing and a little tapper. Cabrera is off of first with two away. Lifted in the air out to left. After it is Dickerson. He tracks it down and that oh, will well. end the inning. Tigers leave one. They trail it here two to nothing. Striding into the box, Corey Dickerson. He'll start the seventh and Dan <coughs> top of the seventh. Let's see. Enjoying this. Lots of good pitching and defense today. Oh, that's one of the keys. We're seeing a lot of strikes. We're seeing it. Here's a swing and a long drive high in the air and deep to center field. And a high bounce will take it over the outfield wall, and he kicks off the inning with a ground rule double. There's a deep fly ball, doesn't Digging in to try it again, Gregory Polanco. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. The one two. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Mata has to cover some ground, but he gets there, and there are two gone. And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. Stepping up now. Trailing now two to one. Bottom of the eighth. First pitch coming. Here it is. Squared that one up just a little late. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. Now a ball lined to the left side, but this will be a foul ball. Oh, and two of the count. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. He pulls this one into right. That gets down, and the inning continues. So, having collected hits number one and two of his career, he's got to be happy with his performance so far, his debut. Oh, he's ecstatic, Matty. The thing you want to prove to yourself is that you belong at the big league level, and that's exactly what he did today. Putting two quality ABs out there for Knox. He'll get in the car today with a nice smile on his face. Hit on the ground to third. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is... And a nice job here. All right, well, we fall in the first game. That's his first save of the season, but it certainly won't be his last. Pitching and defense game, two to one, the final score this afternoon. The Buckos jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. I got two hits. Now, let's see. He had 597 plate appearances. 506 official at bats. 106 runs scored. Move on to March 31st and play another afternoon game. Four hits, 35 doubles, 13 triples, 8 home runs, 91 RBIs, 65 stolen bases. He took 64 bases on balls, struck out 46 times with a batting average of 383, 
an on-base percentage of 456, a slugging percentage of 551. I don't know what OPS means. He was hit by pitch four times. Daniel Norris gets the ball for the Tigers in this one. Uh, we're going to start out here top of the first with a fielding hey, thanks, man. On opportunity. I really like this guy. Good fastball, 93 to 96 with late life. Good overhand spike curveball that when it's on, he'll throw it for strike. And the center fielder is under it to make the catch, and the inning is over. Okay. Trevor Williams is on the mound for game two. Dan Plezak, what do you got? This ought to be interesting to see how this guy bounces back from last year when he had an ERA over four. I know his team is expecting better things from him this year, and we'll see if he can continue to get a little bit better, limit the number of walks, and also limit the number of hits per nine innings. And guys, as we take a look at the Pirates coming into this afternoon, they were the spoilers here on opening day as they took game one of the season on the road. Yeah, Matty, not easy to start opening day on the road and grab a W in the opponent's ballpark. But that's what happened. And they come into game two with a chance to set the tone. All right. Had a run on base. We got two on now. Two outs. Nick Castellanos now. His previous history with Trevor Williams. He's hitless in three at-bats. Now the three and two pitch. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now <coughs> two away. All right, Victor Martinez is up. Runners in scoring position. Victor First time Cobb has been on second. He could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. And he strikes him out. So a missed opportunity ah. at the plate as he strands three runs. Now we're going to get another at-bat here. Now. Ty Cobb. He reached on a single in his first try. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Line drive, base hit down the line. And now this will head for the 345 sign as it's off the wall. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Well, you can see why these fans are so excited about this rookie. Yeah, Matt, a, just a nice piece of hitting by this youngster. Not only does it look like he's going to be a solid contributor, it looks like he may be an impact player at the big league level for years to come if he can continue to learn and develop. He looks good to me. To his left, Harrison. And there's one away. All right, we're in scoring position. We're up one nothing already. Here's the switch hitting Victor Martinez. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Hit hard on the ground to second. And that's through into center field. Base hit. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. It's a 2-0 ball game. Hey, good job of hitting right there, Debo. Run around third left. So digging in now, Ty Cobb, he doubled earlier and carries a two-for-two two line into this appearance. From the belt, the pitch sends that one out of play for strike one. The 0-1 on its way. And great extension as he drives this one high in the air and deep the other way. And it would have been trouble, but a great job there to pull this one in on the dead run. And that ends the inning. One left for Detroit, but they're on top two to nothing. <coughs> so the Pirates batting right. order turns over. In the field, to go. Josh top of the Harrison. fifth, up two nothing. singled his last time up. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Mata will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. So and stay in the in field here. As he'll look to break Two to one, top of the seventh second now. With a base hit into the outfield. All right. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. Pulled toward right center field. Cobb is after it. He gets there, but he Dang missed it. it. And the runner will score from second. And this is going to rattle up against the out-of-town scoreboard now. Now two runs have scored. 
Oh, I gave I thought he was just gonna glide in there. Man, I'm not sure I've ever seen a play like that before. To say that <sighs> coming to the plate now. Down four or two. In his last at -bat. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Seventh inning here at the ballpark. 4-2 our score. Yeah. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? There's one on to first, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game. As there are quickly two away. Uh. Really good pitch from the pitcher right there. Down. Well, now here we go. He's two for four in the ball game. Let's see what the runners on first and third. Just need a base hit. We're up five four. Okay. First pitch of the at bat. Bottom of the eighth. It's a little chopper up the middle. Yeah, that's not good. To second for one. But one's all they were ever going to get, and the inning will continue. Six four. Well, they really did have a shot at turning. Well, that worked. On the high chopper. They only get one, and that allows the runner from third to score. The 0-2 home, and he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. Bat around here as eight men come to the plate, and they push across four runs. Ninth inning coming up. Tigers lead this one 6-4. to four. The 0-1 pitch. They get any runs. Fly ball out toward right field. Aducci is in pursuit. He gets there and makes the play for the first down. That's weird. They said they batted all the way around. Well, we get the win. Six to four, the outcome today. Detroit posted four runs in the eighth on the way to victory. Travis Wood claims the win out of the pen, his first. Shane Green records the save, his first of the year. So that's it for us this afternoon. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB. End of the month. End of March, Tigers are one and one. Okay, we're going to finish up the Pittsburgh series here on April 1st with a 110 start. Welcome, everyone. A very happy Easter to you from all of us here at Inside the Show. Let's recap how Saturday's games played out. In the AL Central, the Detroit Tigers picked up 14 hits in total as they sank the visiting Buccos 6-4. to four. Irvin Santana won the game, finishing a complete game one hitter at... This will be the last game in this uh, episode. Make sure you uh, subscribe to my channel. Push like if you're a fan of season. Afternoon baseball for your viewing pleasure on a fine coming. Sunday afternoon from Mike Fires, a right-hander right, from Florida. Start. We are up to bat. Starter here. What's your take on him, Dan? This guy had a year you'd love to forget last year. Look at that ERA, awfully ugly. We'll see if he can get a runner on second. Much better, and if he does it, his spot in the rotation. Through the gap for a base hit. Now that ball good. is down and could score a run. Now it's cut off. A throw to the plate, but not in time as he's Yay, we're the run. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, D-Roy. You get that base That's hit to my get first your team lead. You have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%. Not trying to do too much. Able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. Frazier is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. All right. Where are we now? We're back up to bat. Into the box. High pop. He came through with an RBI <clears throat> Bottom of the third, up 3 nothing. Bases got a runner on first. First delivery to him on the way. Swing and a liner. 
And that is down as that could be two bases. Look, 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 look and they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. You'd think they'd stop pitching to this guy by now. He's been torching them all weekend, and he stays hot here with another extra base hit. They'll be happy when this series is over, so they don't have to deal with this dude anymore. One out. Three nothing runners on second and third. Set to deliver on nothing and two. Here it comes. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there. Two away. Here's the switch hitting Victor Martinez. Designated number 41, Victor Martinez. Full count. Let's see. The 3 2 pitch is swung on and missed. He got oh. it. Uh, excuse me. Sean Rodriguez is up. We're out in the field. We're up 2 0 on top of the field. Fly ball out toward left center field. Cobb sprinting after it. Now a reach, ah. but he can't get it as he does a face plant afterward. And this is big trouble. Now both the runners are across. Shoot. And happy birthday as they allow him to cross with the inside the park home run as he catches his really to reflect on his good fortune. The fans are not happy, and I can't blame them. And inside the parker on that hit. There's simply no excuse for that. And everyone in the ballpark knows it. We'll see if he can shake it off and get out of the top half of this inning. Here's Gregory Polanco. His previous history with Mike Fires. He's only one for ten. He's also been a strikeout victim six times. <sighs> Down 5-3 now. My fault. The 1-1 home. Lifted the other way out to left center. Cobb on the move. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Well, I'm not going to get a golden ball, that's for sure. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Ty Cobb will try to follow Down 5 3, bottom of the fifth. Bat with another big hit right here. Check swing grounder to the right side. Harrison ranges to his left. On to first, and very quickly, two are gone. Uh. Now we're back on the field. To the Top of the six, five three. Sean Rodriguez. If you remember, he motored around the diamond for an inside the park home run last at bat. Sent out to straightaway center field. Cobb is in his tracks now. And there's the second out of That's the, the way it should have been last time. I thought I was close enough too. Alright, what do we got? Next for the Tigers. Down five three. Runners on first and second. Out victim last time. First offering on its way. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Feliz has some of the absolute best strikeout stuff in the game today. At least among bullpen arms. His strikeouts per nine is a number that's usually through the roof. Uh. This guy was tailor-made, Matty D, to be a relief pitcher. He comes out of the bullpen, guns a blazing. Two pitches that he can strike you out with. And more. Leading off the inning, Sean Rodriguez. Uh, top of the ninth, down 5-3. Before the bottom half of the inning. The 0-1 on its way. High in the air out to center field. Cobb has a read on it. And that's there the first go. out of the inning. <clears throat> well, here we go. Bottom of the ninth. Runner on first. Down 5-3. First pitch of the at-bat. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. Oh. Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher to get ahead right there. You know you got a star hitter at the plate. He's not afraid to go to two strikes or go deep in the count. That's what you have to do. You have to put him at a disadvantage with the count. Dang it. Here's a late swing and a miss. Strike two. <sighs> on its way, the 0-2 pitch. Swing got and me. miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Got him with a good high fastball. 
Well, it's getting more and more common in baseball now these days to use a ton of pitchers to get through a game, and it took six here to get the job done, but, hey, they'll do whatever they can to get it done. All right, well. A one-run finish today, 5-4, to four, the final five score. Four. The Pirates used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Joe Musgrove gets the win on Ty the mound two for five. of the year. Felipe Double. Vasquez retires this time. Decent start. I mean, it's baseball. You're not expecting gold as good a series as I had with Babe Ruth in the other series, but, you know, we'll take it. But anyway, thanks for watching. We'll do the Kansas City series next time on the Ty Cobb in 2018. Until then, I'm Vinny Vincent, and you're not.